Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at the Leatherman Skeletool. Now the Skeletool is more of a minimalist multi-tool and for the most part I really like the Skeletool. I like the overall design of it. Now there's a couple of different versions of the Skeletool and I actually prefer the CX version a little bit better because it has better blade steel but it also comes at a premium price. So this is more of your entry level uh, Skeletool is going to be the baseline for the rest of the Skeletool model, which is a very, very popular model. So the Skeletool weighs in at 5.1 ounces or about 145 grams. Its overall length is going to be four and a quarter inches or about 108 millimeters. Its overall width is about one and five sixteenths or about 33 millimeters. And the overall thickness is five eighths of an inch or about 16 millimeters. Now this particular multi-tool can be purchased for between about $60 and $65. And Leatherman has this actually available in a variety of different colors. So you can get the frame in different, in different colors for the Skeletool. So this is the stainless version. You can also get it where it would be a black on silver version. You can get it in a blue. You can get it in green. You can get it in a coyote tan as well. So several different colors to choose from that might fit your style a little better. One of the one of the few multi-tools that they actually do a numerous different colors and it's because the Skeletool line of tools is really very very popular as to why I think they do that. There are some other multi-tools that they offer different color schemes for but not quite to the level of the Skeletool series. So as we look around the tool set for the Skeletool we're going to start on the outside and it has a lightweight carabiner which allow it to you know to hook it onto a pack or in, you know on a belt loop or however you decide to carry it and this is where your bottle cap opener is it's one of the features that I do like a lot about the skeletal series of tools is that it has a frame integrated bottle cap lifter for those that you know need that that feature I prefer that bottle cap lifters be on the frame as opposed to having them on a separate tool that you actually have to dig through the multi-tool to pull out. I, I just I prefer that styling more and the Skeletool definitely offers that. Now as we get the knife blade open that is the one tool on the Skeletool that I actually don't care for and it's simply because I don't like combination blades. Now unlike some of the higher grade Skeletool series the regular Skeletool has a 428C blade so it has the lowest quality of all knife blades. That being said the 428C blade is, is pretty good and they come out of the factory extremely sharp. I just do not care for a combination blade. Now some other people might like a combo blade it's just definitely not my style. The blade does come out extremely sharp and it has some nice styling to it though as well. Then if we get the, on the, well actually let's look at the other side real quick. One good feature about all the skill tool models is they come with an integrated pocket clip. That's a big feature and this is a very good pocketable multi-tool as well. Now if we get it opened up we'll notice that we have a bit exchanger here. Not all multi-tools have a bit exchanger. I really like the fact that they integrate the bit exchanger into this multi-tool. So it gives you a number, instead of a combination number one, number two Phillips, it gives you a true number one Phillips and a true number two Phillips. I like that actually, as opposed to that sort of mid uh, tier common, uh, you know, that it's kind of right in between a number one and a number two, so it's supposed to do them both. I actually prefer this bit more. And then we in in the frame you're able to store another bit and this is going to be a 3 16 and a quarter inch flat driver. So it's nice that you're able to store those on board. I like that feature about the Skeletool series. And if we get it opened up and take a look at the pliers, we have a decent set of pliers. They're not they're not really robust, but I tell you what, let's pull in the Juice S2 by comparison. The Juice S2 pliers are a little bit longer but overall the pliers on the Skeletool are a little beefier than that of the Juice series. 
So while they're not fantastic pliers, they, they do have some pretty decent functionality. Now the cutters on them, let's just get a little piece of wire here so we can demonstrate those. I don't think I have a little thicker piece of wire. Now they work fairly decently. They do have hard wire cutting capability at the bottom there as well. And they work pretty good. They actually work a little, quite a bit better than that of the Juice series. So I can really get it in there and pop that right off. And it has a decent cut on it as well. So good functionality out of this size multi-tool. I really don't have a whole lot of bad things to say about this multi-tool. There's only, the only thing that I don't care for is that knife blade. And it's simply because I don't like a combo blade. Maybe you do. Now, I prefer something like the CX, but the CX is going to be about double the price of the standard Skeletool. So if you are the type that likes a combo blade, maybe a Skeletool in a black and silver might work better for you as opposed to the carbon fiber and black of the Skeletool CX. I think the Skeletool CX is the best among the line of Skeletool tools, but you know, everybody has differing opinions. Now that being said, pretty much this it, it's going to have the same functionality that you're going to have in a CX. I'm going to grade this just a touch lower than an A at an A minus simply for the fact that it's it's a personal thing for me that I don't care for the combo blade. But all in all, I really think this is a great tool. And if you don't want to drop the hundred plus dollars on a Skeletool CX. At sixty dollars for the Skeletool is actually a pretty decent entry level price for a good quality multi-tool. Not going to have some of the functionality of other multi-tools, but if you're looking at a Skeletool, you're probably looking at more of from a minimalist carry. You you don't want you're not wanting all that extra stuff. And so I, I really like the Skeletool series. I really do. For those that you know, want to carry, you know, want some capability, but don't want all of the extra tools that go along with some of the, today's multi-tools. At any rate, my review of the Leatherman Skeletool. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.